hi everyone welcome to the design mentor so you should have seen on our thumbnail that is exactly what i'm going to design today but before that look at this poster right here i made this almost seven years ago on my youtube channel as you can see none of these videos got many views but that video right here got the most amount of views it has almost 291k and i absolutely do not like this design right here look at this i don't know what i was thinking back then but it looks ridiculous it's not a real good poster or a leaflet that will work okay it's really really bad so now after seven years i put this in 2017 so after seven years now with all those experience that i got we'll see today how i'm going to redesign this as a challenge i'm going to do this so so we are going to redesign this in a modern perspective so let's do it first i need some fake content now as you can see these are fake too but i don't think i can use the same content so i got an idea that i will do like a travel guide poster so randomly i picked london so i'm gonna put the big ben tower image right here if you don't follow along with me just watch this entire video you will get lots of technical skills that i have gained through all these years of experience so you can see from all my years of experience so how i'm going to take this as a challenge because it's going to be really difficult because we have uh, this is a weird looking design which is very very difficult to add content into this but i will be trying my best i thought these two colors will be going good with each other i mean the contrast between these two is really good then i designed a very fake looking i think kind of a cool looking logo as well i just designed it it doesn't have any meaning to it just a random logo i will be attaching this also for you to download if you want to but even if you don't do just watch this entire video you will definitely gain a lot of knowledge so let's start first of all i will bring in the image that i downloaded so this is that big ben tower image so i'll bring in right here so i thought here there is a building so i thought i will also put a building but i will go for much more of a modern approach that is now you all should know that is a popping out style effect so these types of effects are called as popping style effect so i thought i will put the tower somewhere here okay then i thought it would be cool okay that's the first approach so i'm going to put the tower right here make it a lot bigger now i will need a background before i go i would like to add these two to my switches panels so right here all i have to do is press this new group button but before that make sure these two are selected then new group and then press ok now those two colors are right here now i'm going to create a background with that orange now many years back i think i did it like this what i did was i had all of this shape already cut out now this is a bad idea we want responsive shapes so so that we can move the design here and there and it will be totally responsive that is exactly what i'm going to do i highly recommend you as well so first let's create a box and give it white for now because up here it is white also this this angle i'm thinking it is 45 degree rotated so let me just check if it's correct yeah it is 45 degree rotated that means it's going to be super easy for us putting it right here but one thing i felt is that as you can see this is the worst part of this entire design i think this is not even an a4 if i mark it down and if i place it here this is the exact a4 size okay and then if i make it bigger as you can see that's not a4 but what i thought was whatever i'm going to do now here is wrong completely wrong since this is challenge all i'm all i have to do is completely redesign this so i thought i will keep its perspective so so i'll quickly create a artboard to this size also one more tip that if you don't know whenever you have a shape you can just grab the artboard tool then double click on this anchor point it's going to create a artboard to this shape size how cool is that now i'll take all of this and place it right here maybe i have to make the tower a little more smaller i know whatever i'm doing right now is very wrong you have to create to the size of the a4 then you can scale it to a3 a2 and all or even a5 now i will put this behind okay 
and the tower to the top like this i told you this way of creating a design is very responsive that means now if i go to view and if i press trim view for me the shortcut of this is control t i have set it to control t from the keyboard shortcut menu so if you go to edit you can do it from here then if i now press ctrl t as you can see i can see a crop preview therefore i can just move it around and this is responsive see i can if i des decide to move it down i can if i decide to move it up i can so all i will do is keep it close to what i have done originally something like this and then i'll duplicate it here and then i'm going to give that purple color okay the dark purple and this one should go to the top and then i have to just take one more copy right here just like how i have done previously i'll take one more copy of this and give it a darker color i think i will set it to black itself and put it to the background as you can see now this is entirely responsive that means whenever i decide to you know move things around it will still look good even if i want to i can say like this and move it here and there or these two together i can just arrange them see how cool is this this is responsive so what i'm trying to say is do not cut like this if you cut like this now you are in trouble right now when you let's say you just want to select these two and move it around now you can't do it now you have to do some extra works by you know pulling these anchor points to the top that's some extra work which is not recommended now i will bring in the heading so let's go here and copy the heading i will leave the all these in the description if you want to if you are really following with me then i'll click here and paste it so the default font that i have selected is this sf pro display i think this is an awesome font i will leave as it is so i will leave a description to download this font as well now let's look at this font now this is a bad looking font for a poster now this is going to be our main heading always remember whenever you have a main heading remember it should be very big i'm also going to give it white so i'm thinking i will place the main heading right here itself now there is a problem if because it's way too big we can't place it in one line of course therefore well send it to another line down now we can put to explore down so let us cut it let's keep this two as one and to explore as one what i can do is make these two the most important heading so it can be much bigger and these ones are much smaller to explore is not that important let's say let's select this make it bold as well let's not make the same mistake how i did it before so i'll grab it here maybe here and reduce its size a bit i think what i can do is move this more up like this now i have plenty of space to keep these two and maybe even reduce these two size a bit more down now this looks more of a proper heading also i will have to move this align it properly so when i view it from a far away it's going to look good also a good tip is that always remember to trim and then zoom out as far away and then check for from a far away is the heading visible is the text readable all of these are very good practices to follow as good graphic designers also i'm thinking this can be even many times cool if i can make this tower completely black and white i have saved it so let me load it here so let us select this image then you can go to linked file and then you can give relink just the correct image and press place hey guys this is the end of part one part two is already available on my channel you just have to click the part two video link from the description and don't forget to like the video before you watch the part two